The evaluation, selection and recruitment processes should follow objectivity, fairness and transparency criteria in each research performing organisation. Evaluation commissions should base their decisions only on quality and must guarantee the equal treatment of all candidates, irrespective of sex, gender, nationality, ethnicity, sexual orientation, religion or disability. But in fact, even evaluators who are committed to quality acknowledgement can be influenced by unconscious biases, in particular when they have to make decisions in a short time drawing on limited information. Several studies explain the effects of unconscious biases within evaluation and selection procedures, showing that these effects specifically hinder female researchers. We all take immediate decisions based on unconscious connections between ideas, personal experiences and received information. These unconscious connections are not free from stereotypes and biases because they are strongly influenced by the context, the group of belonging and the dominant culture. The unconscious association's test results prove that the concepts related to science and career are often referred to men, while the concepts related to art and family are often referred to women. Many research findings demonstrate in academic evaluation procedures women are more penalised compared to men, even when they have the same curriculum vitae. To contrast the waste of talent and guarantee gender equality, the Alma Mater Studiorum Universita de Bologna, as coordinator of the H2020 project Plotina, invites evaluators and commission members to apply the following guidelines in order to safeguard the equal opportunities of candidates. Slow down the decision-making process and take the time necessary for a fair evaluation and recognition of the best candidate. As it is easier to find unconscious biases in a colleague's analysis than in our own, a good practice would be the mutual correction whenever an unfair evaluation takes place. Verify that all decisions are based on evidence and can be supported by real facts, referring only to the application tests and to the candidate's curriculum vitae. Do not consider conversations and or experiences that occurred outside this context. Do not direct questions to the candidate regarding parental choices, marital status, family life or sexual orientation. Remember that candidates belonging to groups disadvantaged by gender, disability, nationality and origin are usually perceived as alien to the culture of the organisation, but it does not represent the worthiness of the candidate. Cultural differences as well as gender differences may contribute to increasing the value of research.